Hi, I'm going to show you how to graph this equation using a t-table method. Okay, in general, when you're using a, the t-table method, you're going to create a t-table over here, and you're going to pick some order uh, x values that are somewhere near the origin. I picked negative 1, 0, and 1. You can pick negative 2, 0, and 2, or so something on either side of the origin, left to right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each value of x and plug them in one at a time into my equation and solve for y. So let's start with negative 1. So I'm going to leave my y in there and I'm going to plug in negative 2 times negative 1 plus 2. So I've just substituted x as negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 gives me a positive 2 plus 2, which gives me 4. So that means when I plug in negative 1, I get out positive 4. Now let's plug in 0 for x. y is equal to negative 2 times 0 plus 2. Well, 0 doesn't anything, it's just 0, so it's gone. And I just end up with 0 plus 2, which is positive 2. So I have my second value plugged in. Now let's go down and plug in positive 1 in for x. So y is equal to negative 2 times 1 plus 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. So my output is 0. Now over here my t-table, I've actually created three ordered pairs. Negative 1, positive 4, 0, 2, and 1, 0. So let's go over here and plug those values in. So I'm going to graph left 1, up 4, over 1, up 4, 0, 2, left and right 0, up 2, and 1, 0. So over 1, up and down 0. And they all line up, and I connect my points, and I have graphed that line using the t-table method. Hope this video was helpful.